So this is the uh, standard series driven fire truck, and the price is thirty-five dollars for any standard series vehicle that driven produces. Um, so this is a, the most detailed fire truck toy I've ever seen, if I've ever seen one. This thing has so many working gadgets. I don't even know how many it has. It has so many, but and they all function just like on the real thing and it has a special feature I'll show you later on we're gonna look its main color is red white it's mostly red because that's just the color fire trucks are nowadays here in the US where I live and it's got a 24 on the door here that's a sticker it's got side view mirrors and really nice tires here we got the controls for the ladder and pumping system, I assume. And this lever, I'll show you what it does in a bit. Got a ladder here that is removable. I'll show you where that goes in a little bit. Here are the controls for the ladder. Now that makes more sense. This is for the, uh, the, the, the pump system, I guess. I'm not sure. You got four support legs, and those do function. <coughs> back we have just your lights and striping and you got a license plate very creative license plate indeed the other side got some like a hook or something on here that's a mold doesn't really come off and then you get two more support legs one here you get another one here and then you get another 24 on this door with another mirror and you get the light bar now, let's move on to the features of this giant truck. <clears throat> now, when I say it's got a lot of features, I mean it. So we're going to start off here. We're going to start off with the opening doors. They open up nice and wide, so you can get a figure in there easily during a fire. And you got a steering wheel, and it does rotate. And it's got a horn button right here on the steering wheel. Now, let's push it and see what happens. Ooh, the headlights illuminate. Isn't that cool? What a nice detail it is. And your support legs can come down. Support your truck. Now they don't see that now the truck won't tip over. So I just need to show you what one does. I don't need to show you all four of them. Here's your ladder I talked about earlier. It's removable. Really nice ladder. These hooks show you that they actually you see this thing right here you're just gonna put your ladder right there that's what it's for so they can climb up to the ladder up here I'll show you what that does in a minute and when you're done using the ladder just put it back right here um, and to operate your ladder controls there's this little knob you twist it so Here's the thing, so it's kind of backwards compared to the jumbo crane truck, but to make the ladder go up, don't force it up. Use this lever and turn it clockwise. You're going to want to turn it this way to make it go up. And it can go up about eight clicks. So when you hear this mechanism click eight times, it's reached its limit at its highest. You don't want to go beyond eight or you might break it. But that's that's as high as it goes so and the ladder can extend as well so I'll bring it back down show you how that works and then you got another knob right here you're gonna want to twist it clockwise as well I'm gonna keep doing that till it's all the way extended and it extends far so far the camera can't capture all of it but just to give you a little um, example All right, now I gotta do the gotta do the lights on the roof here for you. Let's go and raise it up. Here are your blue lights on the top, just like you would normally see. And here are your buttons here. The one toward the front controls your headlights on the front, and then the second one controls the lights and the siren. Those are your lights. Here's your blue lights and siren.
So those are your sounds. Now, let's get on to the most amazing part about this toy. It's got a removable hose, and you just turn this wheel clock counterclockwise to unravel your hose. And you're probably wondering why this hose is being unraveled. You're going to see in just a second. It just takes a little bit of time to unravel this huge hose. It's like five feet long. So, very convenient place to put it. So, and then where you're going to put your hose is this little spigot. Let me show you. You see this little spigot right there? You're going to stick the end of your hose on it. It'll already come attached, but mine, I like to take it off just to, so it doesn't wear and tear. So you're going to want to attach that to the spigot there. Get on there pretty good. And then what you're going to, going to want to do, extend your ladder up a little bit. Extend it out. And then you're going to want to put your hose onto the ladder like this. And at the very end, there's, a, there's little nubs to install the, uh, the little spigot thing so you can adjust it. And this truck has a working pump. And you can pour water into it and pump water out of this truck. Here's where your water is going to go. You're going to want to open up this little compartment here. Now there's a little red plug in there. I don't know if you can see it, but if you push down on it, that will release the water out of the tank. And, that, and that's something you don't want to do when you're playing with it, because that could cause problems. So, you're going to want to pull back up on this little red tab. And make sure it's pulled all the way up so that no water leaks out. And also, I brought over some water so that we can try it out. I recommend using a funnel just to reduce the spilling. So, you're just going to pour your water in there. Yeah, I spilled it a little bit. That's fine. There we go. I'm going to close the cap on here. And then you're going to want to pump it a few times. So I'm going to aim the uh, hose in a direction that does not involve it hitting another vehicle. So we're going to pull the ladder in so you can see some water coming out of the hose. We're going to aim it at something so that it can show that it's, that it's wet. We're going to use this chair. Just an example. Just going to show you that it really squirts water. So we rotate our camera. So there's the chair. Then we are going to raise it a little bit. And then we're going to use our pump here and pump the water. Raise it a little bit more. There we go. You know what, I'll put the camera a little closer to the chair so you can see it getting wet. Trust me, this thing really works. See the water coming out? See it coming out? Let's see if I can do something. I'm going to reel it in. Lower it down. Alright, so... See the water coming out? That is really neat. And uh, yeah, so like uh, if your kids are interested in this toy, I recommend doing this in a safe place, but light a candle uh, outside, and then use your fire truck and put the put the fire out with this toy, because it really would be a pretty cool simulation. So, I recommend this toy. It's 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 worth the money and it's worth the quality and detail down to the very last bit. It's a really nice toy. So if you're looking to buy this, I recommend it. So the places to buy this are at Target. Or 
if you're lucky, there's a slim chance they will sell it on Amazon. But the chances of finding it at Target are much higher than Amazon because when I was buying the crane, the orange crane behind it, I looked on Amazon and they didn't have it in there. Said it was unavailable. That's just how rare that crane is. Fire truck's pretty common if you go to Target. So, oh, I forgot to say that the uh, ladder swivels. It doesn't swivel a full 360, like maybe 270 degrees. I don't know. It swivels a lot. So, yep. Yeah. This toy is really cool. Uh, it's not... I mean, it's better than Bruder's fire truck, which isn't as cool as this, but it's still better than some of the toys I own.